Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, unfortunately, this early spring weather isn't going to go away anytime soon. We're still looking at cold conditions out here. Here's a look at the Bismarck Sky Cam. A nice starlit night out there in the capital city. It's a little bit chilly, but pretty much where we should be this time of the year. 42 degrees is the temperature right now in the capital city with that north northwest wind at six miles an hour, giving you a wind chill of 38 degrees. Meanwhile, we'll take a trip north to the Magic City where you're at 44 degrees with west northwest winds at nine miles an hour. Temperatures elsewhere across the KX area on this Saturday night are pretty much right around average. 37 in Medora, 37 in Harvey, 36 in Garrison. You're at 42 in Williston and 41 degrees is your temperature right now in Dickinson. Satellite and radar picture. We had a small little piece of energy sliding through the area uh, through the afternoon. It really lost all of its punch. Uh, it, they actually it was strong enough earlier today. They were uh, spent the good part of the day in Williston dealing with snow showers. But as that system moved to the south, it ran into some much drier air and really lost a lot of its punch. So just some scattered sprinkles out there. So what can we expect over the next day or two? Quiet weather tonight, which is a good thing. And then for your Sunday, for your Cinco de Mayo, we will see a few peaks of sunshine out there. But again, to the southwest, can't roll out a couple of sprinkles. And then, unfortunately, we still have some snowfall to deal with in the forecast, which we'll get to with Precision Cast right now. You can see as we go through the overnight hours, still have a chance for a couple of sprinkles. And then as we go through the morning hours tomorrow, we'll have another system sliding by to the southwest. Could touch off a rain snow mix and some straight snow shower activity uh, further to the southwest Bowman County and just to the south of Dickinson. And basically Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as we put precision cast into motion every day, especially in the early morning hours, will feature the chance for some type of rainfall. I don't think we'll see a rain-free day across a good portion of the area until Thursday. If you're wondering about snowfall, yes, we're still talking about snowfall. Here's where we're at this year. 60.3 inches so far as of yesterday, about 10 inches above the normal and about 15 inches above where we were last year. Still way, way below the all time record of the 96 97 winter where we were at 100 inches, which is crazy. Tonight we'll dip to the freezing mark in the capital city with some light north winds, seasonable temperatures with mostly cloudy skies. Pretty much the same thing in the Magic City, mostly cloudy skies, 30 degrees with those light north winds at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow we will rebound only into the upper 40s with a couple of stray showers, especially late, probably closer to around dinner time. No rain chances tomorrow in the Magic City. A nice day, 50 degrees, still have those light north winds. Here's a look at your extended forecast for the Williston area. Chance of rain Sunday and Monday, and then it clears out before more rain comes back into the picture for your Thursday. Meanwhile, in Dickinson, it's pretty much the same thing, although they have a better chance for some rain, especially on Wednesday. I think that might be the best chance for a washout. And here's a look at your extended forecast for the capital city. Have another chance for a mix early on Monday and then more precipitation chances Tuesday and Wednesday. But the end of the week looks nice, finally starting to warm up and then pretty much the same thing in the Magic City. Average high of 63. You don't see any temperature like that on your screen, Renee. So below normal temperatures for the foreseeable future. Oh, well, thank you, Robert. Coming up next in sports, it's do or die tonight for the Minot Minotauros.